Well, I think that um, it's a reasonable claim. Um, there may be um, an agreement or a modality on the part of the university to resort to a particular kind of assessment so that right after the pandemic ends, then um, the illustrations that are supposed to be done for them uh, may be um, attended to once again. Okay. Um, but because we are not in ordinary times, yes, we agree that there are some courses that we need certain illustrations, but a certain mode of assessment will have to be agreed upon by the university. Mm. And um, the university, after they agreed on that, students will also understand how the mode of assessment is going to be done so that at least we can end the academic year successfully. Are you in talks with the Vice Chancellor's Ghana platform to <laughs> fast track this process? and make sure that all of this is put to rest in good time? Yes, yes, yes. Um, I have some documents even on my phone now. Um, one from Kiel University, and I've seen one also from the University of Ghana. I've already told you that um, the National Commission for Tertiary Education, um, the charge of tertiary education, um, is already in full touch with the university that uh, they've been asked to um, provide their modalities. Of course, they've provided um, some modalities that have been um, given some directive that there should be a review to work. Okay. Um, I'm sure that today, tomorrow, because I'm, <clears throat> even today, mm. um, there's going to be a meeting around 10 o'clock. Okay. The, uh, I think you said the MOOCs and um, some other stakeholders. Um, universities are also going to have their virtual um, meeting, um, maybe in the evening, today or on Monday. Okay. So I know we are in full touch with them. The National Commission of Tertiary Education is doing a good job, and um, we hope that by the end of next week, um, mm. some of these matters will have been brought to conclusion. Okay. 